Day one of GoJo 27 started bright and early this morning outside Lock Haven. Morning meteorologist Joe Snedeker weaved his way through central Pennsylvania today. Newswatch 16's Chelsea Strube is along for the ride. This year's GoJo could not have asked for more enthusiasm for day one from folks here in central Pennsylvania. A sea of people and inflatables in Woodward Township helped Joe kick off his ride this morning in Clinton County where he started his ride after breakfast in Lock Haven and through Avis, where all signs were in his favor, as well as the spectators. Keep it up, Joe. Some people on ta talk back that may complain about you, but, but, you, I, but we like you too. <laughs> then it was off through Jersey Shore, where Joe got slightly distracted by a miniature inflatable, but then got back to work, collecting donations and thanking veterans before pulling up to the Jaysburg Polish Club for a $5,000 check for St. Joseph Center. Right around 900 members, and uh, everybody just comes and enjoy. But that seems like an awful lot of money. I mean, how do you come up with that? Everyone just chipping in? Yep, just uh, yep, coming in every day, playing the skills games. I love it. A lot of Genesees or no? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course, lighting, everything else. <laughs> Then it was off to the home of the Little League World Series, South Williamsport, where Joe wasn't the only one with fans. It's for a good cause. I got to meet sister. Uh, I see her all the time on TV with Joe this time of year, so that was exciting for me. Then it was a quick stop for ice cream before the finale of the morning's ride in Loyal Sock Township at the pool. After lunch, we went to Hughesville for a generous gift from the Rotary Club before cruising through Montgomery. Some challenges for donations at Clyde Peeling's Reptile Land and in Watson Town before the finale of day one of Gojo 27 at Brown Avenue Park in Milton. For the campaign. It helps draw the community together. I think it's a good idea. You know, it gets around the state. It's not in just one area. So I think it's a good thing. It's for, like I say, it's for a good cause. We'll be back again to do it all over tomorrow starting in Mifflinburg. Chelsea Strube, Newswatch 16, Northumberland County.